Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody, and a pleasant special thanks to those of you that have subscribed this far. This is going to be a Philadelphia Flyers game recap, as now, after having the 10-game losing streak, they have a three-game, or a two-game, hopefully a three-game, as they continue against the New Jersey Devils on Tuesday, but a two-game winning streak going after beating the Arizona Coyotes, after beating the Vegas Golden Knights. The Flyers' power play coming into tonight was three for eight without MT, meaning Michelle Terrian, at 37.5%. Um, and they had two goals versus the Vegas Golden Knights. Well, of course, uh, this evening, the Philadelphia Flyers power play was one for three and able to pot one again in the post Terrian era where Daryl Williams, who I thought should have been running the power play from the get-go this season instead of Michelle Terrian since he's one of A.B.'s guys anyway, um, he's now running the power play, and look how things are going. And then with Mike Yo. Other than in the Devils game, this far the team has looked a hell of a lot more structured and seems to be pushing the pace like TK talked about playing with each other but kind of just finding the shot and just shooting the damn puck basically, paraphrasing what he said, rather than always looking for the prettiest shot and I was very happy to hear that. Now in this game, we had JVR where the big thing Yo's been talking about is better neutral zone play. Well, check. Uh, JVR gets a steal at the neutral zone, holds it, holds it. Um, tips off, uh, well, Asker, not Askarov, uh, where'd I get that from? Uh, tips off Veljmelka as, um, he's not able to make the save because it seems like he's leaning towards the pad. Jay Beagle, unfortunately, did tie it up on a broken play that ended up getting down in front to him, um, where he was then able to pot the goal. But then, never fear, Scott Lawton is here as Scott Lawton continues to have great success this season as he now has his sixth goal of the season assisted by Konechny and Couturier, where TK also is heating up, which is very good to see. Obviously, he looked good against Colorado. Nobody looked good against the Devils. He looked good against Vegas and now looked good again tonight. Um, and then he also had the shot that, of course, was JVR's second goal that he's uh, able to deflect, which was the power play goal that at first looked like it was TK's, but ends up being JVR's as he was able to deflect it. Um, when it comes to this overall game, though, uh, it's Daryl Roy Oh, here it is, the numbers. I actually wrote it on my game notes. Daryl Williams is at 40% since he took over. MT was definitely part of the problem with Shelterian when he came to the power play. And also, G, after becoming the all-time points leader on the power play, now is about to be second all-time in points. He's two points away from tying Bill Barber for second all-time. So obviously, that's just one game potentially for G. That could even be this Tuesday against the New Jersey Devils, and if not Thursday, definitely up in Montreal, particularly with how that shoddy defense they got going uh, is playing this season. Uh, Sharat's playing pretty well, and then Patriot always plays well, but overall that defense is not playing good up there in Montreal. But when it comes to this overall game, I just thought the Flyers from the get-go obviously being able to establish it, getting the steal, and then they also answer back. Beagle's able to score. But early in the second, in the first six minutes, Lawch is able to get the goal. Schmoltz answers. Patrick Brown's able to get a gift, which is really the game-changing moment of this game, which was the gift where Karel Vujmelka was known coming over from overseas as a guy that can handle the puck. Well, there, not so good. Moy Mallow, if you're an Arizona Coyotes fan, and hooray! If you're a Philadelphia Flyers fan, as Patrick Brown is able to get his first the Flyers and continues to look very good, check out Lance Green's article on Patrick Brown. Probably from like a little bit of like a week ago or so, but still very relevant on how important he is potentially to the fourth line, and we're seeing that right now. Uh, James Van Riemsdyk, of course, I already talked about that. The second goal on the power play, and then Claude Giroux on a beautiful saucer pass um, that he was able to get from Cam Atkinson was able to score, and then Frost got the other assist as well, who has looked good since his call. So. All the key things you want to check, Konechny's getting going. The team looks a lot better in the neutral zone. They're exiting zones better, getting into the zone better, and just making a decision rather than trying to make seven decisions at once in their head, it seems like, and making none and getting the puck taken from them, and the other teams going the other way. This has been much improvement in these two games out west for the Philadelphia Flyers. They now return east, and Yo said he's going to have a short practice on Monday, so he will be able to implement some of the little things. Of course, he was here with AB's coaching staff, but he's going to want to implement some of his own things, and he'll be able to implement some of his own things 
now having a little practice period, and then they'll have the morning skate, you would think, unless if they don't, and then they will play the game on Tuesday against the New Jersey Devils for a quick return home. Then they go, This is a weird week. Then they go to Montreal to play Thursday just to come back home to play the Ottawa Senators, who are, of course, also a Canadian team, so weird how the NHL did that scheduling on Saturday at 7 p.m. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. It has been a pleasant weekend for Philadelphia Flyers fans. Finally, it's been forever since the middle of November since we've been able to talk about pleasant things with this team. And they got it going now, and they got it going on for two games. Now we have to see if it can be three as they face the Devils on Tuesday that I will be doing a preview for on Tuesday. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And continue to subscribe down below to keep showing the love and support. Really appreciate all of you that have this far. And go Flyers. Let's keep the winning ways going and try to just at least turn this around in terms of having a good winning season for the rest of the year. And then we'll see where that goes from there. Just as Bruce Boudreaux talked about with the Vancouver Canucks. Let's just try to have the most success we can have going forward. And then if that yields a playoff spot, great. Peace out, everybody.